Okay, so this is the, the sixth video in our series of sculpting our first miniature. So we're going to cover chain mail in this video. So to do our chain mail, we're going to be using nano mesh. So I've gone ahead and made this t-shirt. So notice the sleeves are hollow, and so is the um, waist and the neck. And these polygons across the chest run right across, straight down, and a little bit around the neck. So this is the end result, what we want to make. I'm going to go ahead and put this one up on the Google Drive because it is a lot of trial and error to get this to work. So I think I'll just give this bit of this one away. So if I come over here to Nanomesh, I've already got it selected on, but I haven't got it shown or well, where it says show instances. So I'm just going to click that to um, pop on the chain mail, uh, turn off polyframe. So we can see that all these links interconnect. Um, yeah, no, they all run the right way, that's all fine. So what we're going to cover just right now, firstly, is applying this to our model, and then we'll talk about making this sort of t-shirt and any other shapes in another video. So I've already come here and put it on this model, and so this is the end result. So let's get rid of this now, because then let's do it by hand. So let's hide our shield and base again. So. Once the um, chain mail has been applied, this is what it's going to look like. And let's go ahead and find this chain mail. Cool. So, and isolate it now. So, because we're over here on this chain mail, oh, this is my chain mail builder or repository where I've got all of my different pieces. So, I've got some with different cuts at the bottom, different sort of bits at the side, longer skirts, longer sleeves, and some coifs. Um, you'll build up your repository as you go, but this bit will get you started. So, alright, we're going to start with this piece here. Now that this is all finished, we're going to, because it's in a separate tool, let's come over to hit this one. Alright, let's load this back, and let's delete this this one, and let's do it again. So. What I've had to do for this is squash the gamson underneath, but let's just bring that back now to where it started. So when we add layers, we sometimes need to squash the ones underneath because the, it's the details on the top that get all the surface area, not the ones underneath. So things like these belt buckles, because we can't see them, there's no point forming the chain mail around them. So let's go ahead and insert our chain mail. Um, S pivot just to bring it to the middle. Let's turn off symmetry, move it up, put it further forward, sit it this way. Alright, I'm going to scale this up because it's a bit small. Alright, so that's roughly where it's got to go. So I've already put this gamut in together and merged these two bits because this is the sort of the shape of the t-shirt that we're going to make the chainmail sit around. So I'll turn the visibility on for both of these. Sorry, there's a bike going past. So, Let's get the shoulder line in near enough where that's got to go. Not so much worrying about the back at the moment. All right, when the, the shoulders, sorry, the upper arms go a different direction, I normally mask those off. We don't see the mask on the nano mesh, just on the mesh underneath. I'm going to move these arms down. This preserves that circle around the sleeve. If I had done that with the move tool, then we would start to lose that because we'd be stretching it. I just want to keep that as much as possible for now. It's probably the same bike as yesterday. Alright, let's turn that around, bring it out to here. Cool. Now, we need to twist the waist a bit as well, like we did before. So, just come in here, set the pivot point to about the centre, and just twist it, and lift it back up. Now let's hide the gamerson. and so obviously that's gone in and twisted it in a funny way, but once we start to smooth this out and pull it, it's going to um, fix itself back up and it will be more of a gradual transition and you'll be able to see these sort of curves start to come in as we pull it, but that's not the biggest concern right now, but we will need that when we lift this leg up later. So let's now... We've kind of got this in the right spot, make it a bit wider. Let's turn everything back on now. And start to pull this to the surface. 
So we're going to start with around the belt and the bottom here. We're going to go over the belt because we want to, because the belt is holding everything in tight around the waist, to give that impression we're going to make everything loose up top and then pull it in later. So we need to bring this to the surface as well. There, bring that forward, bring that forward. There we go. Let's move most of those. Pull that out. Alright. So now our chainmail is kind of sh is showing as that t-shirt. We want to now get rid of what's underneath it. So these links are all interconnected, which is really good. And where they're closer together, they're squashed, which is very realistic. We don't want it to be too squashed though, because we still want to be able to paint it. There we go. All right, now let's go into this gamson and let's, let's push up the bits away that we're, we're not going to see at all anymore, because all that's going to do is get in the way. Let's lower that. All right, let's pull this down now. So the, which way does it go? Goes a bit like that. So let's start to pull it back to the way it was. So just now, this is going to be distributing the links. We've kind of got the shirt on. We want to distribute all of these chain links now, so that they run nicely and we can see the nice weave pattern. There we go, that's starting to, to look better. Alright, now let's give it some thickness over here. Alright, so we want from this sort of ring all the way to, across to kind of sit in, in line with each other. So let's pull this chest down. There we go, that looks good. Let's squash that, we don't need that. There we go. So we can that that easily reads as a chainmail shirt. Um, let's just push the gamut in away because we don't want these arms to get too thick. They've already got a bunch of layers, so it's okay at the moment. But any thicker would look a bit wrong. Um, same under here. Let's get rid of that. All right. So now let's talk about this belt and how this belt's going to work. Just push that in a bit. No. So. You could make this um, chainmail go longer down at the sides and stuff like that. So you just go to um, C Modeler and extrude the edge loops. But if you're just starting with this t-shirt, which is just a good place to start, once you've kind of got a pose, you, you're finished with thinking, okay, all of these links join together, this all looks fine. Let's come down here to Nano Mesh and do one to mesh. Now with this add tool, let's go to Sub back up to about 25 and to Dynamesh, to 1500, and Dynamesh. Now if you remember, because this t-shirt has holes on the sleeves, the waist and the um, neck, this Dynamesh is going to fill that in and make this whole thing a solid, so there won't be any holes in this at all. Okay, so now this is done, we're going to pretend like this is fabric, like this is a t-shirt or the canvas we had earlier, and start to add some very basic folds, so especially around the belt. So let's just, with us, our standard brush, start to push in around the belt. So what this is going to do is give it the impression like this belt is quite tight to the waist. It's a bit much at the moment, but let's pull it in. Um, and especially if the character's got a bit of a gut or anything like that, um, this is really going to help show that off. And also when we start to do folds, if this chainmail's hanging down at the waist, but I don't kind of don't really want it to be a bit puffy on this side, so I'm just going to flatten that, and that stretched it a little bit, which is all right. So let's pull that back. But there we go. All right. So we can sort of see that some natural folds would probably run this way. So let's turn this down right down to 14. Put it to add. I'm going to do one line 
across here, one lane back up. Don't do too much, it's easy to get carried away with this. Um, one across the bottom, and then sort of under the arm, and take a bit away. That's about as much as we should probably do on the front. Maybe make the lines a bit sharper, but we've, we've got our folds in the chain mail now. That's that's what we wanted. It's really difficult to um, well, scalping chain mail on with green stuff and other pot putties is already pretty difficult to get it to um, look neat. And most of the time when you see it, it's just the circle. So one of the advantages of doing this digitally is that we can start to get these sort of folds. Alright, let's just keep playing with these because one of the other advantages of um, doing these creases is it kind of flattens it out a bit. So it just makes these a little bit flatter. And so when we come to painting it and printing it, it's just going to be a bit easier. Alright, so those folds are there. Um, I can see this is sort of stretched, but if this was really stretched out at the side, it wouldn't be quite so lumpy and it would kind of come out more here. So I'm going to pull that further forward and just pop that back so that way it looks more like a sort of a straight line where it's been pulled. There we go. That's a bit more um, realistic. Alright, so that's just a quick video on how we pose chainmail. Um, on a figure. And if you remember from the video where we talked about the gambeson and we, we put these down at the side, the chain mail would do the exact same thing, it would fold down at the side. So in the next video we'll talk about making the chain mail and making these links, but I, I figure most people just want to get started, so I've got this basic t-shirt up in the Google Drive. Um, of course you're free to use it in all your models. If you're going to put those online, um, just drop a link to my page. Um, and a bit of credit for uh, making them. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video.